Hey guys, Gator here. Um, I don't know if I like the name Gator, but it's just kind of what I'm rolling with now. If you have a better suggestion for a, a YouTube name, just throw it at me in the comments. Uh, you won't hurt my feelings if you just throw it, anything out there. It could be rooster, it could be uh, an animal, it could be <laughs> a name, I don't know. Um, I kind of want to avoid using my real name, but anyway, Gator, Gator here. Um, doesn't really roll off the tongue, so I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, but uh, uh, anyway, let's talk about why gold. This is the second video for my channel. I, things are still very, very rough, guys. I, I brought out some coins. I brought out a knife. Um, I, I ordered a tripod. I have a tripod on the way. Uh, the videos will be getting better. Just give me time to get set up. Um, I'd like to show you guys charts. I'm just not set up for that right now. I don't have a microphone and uh, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just using my phone right now. But I thought we'd talk about why why gold? Let's start at the beginning and like, why, why are we buying gold? What is the point? Um, for a long time, I did not believe in gold. I've been told uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't earn any cash flow. It doesn't keep up with stocks. Just put all your money in the stock market. You know, uh, if you listen to like Warren Buffett, he, he tells people uh, gold is useless. A lot of stock trader, Wall Street guys will tell you gold is a, is a terrible investment. And, and I just believe them for a long time. I've been putting my money in the stock market. Uh, this, the stock market is op absolutely a great place to put your money, but I've been looking at gold again, and I was actually really surprised that gold has pretty much kept up with the stock market um, dollar for dollar for the last 20 years. So we're gonna look at the last 20 years of data here. I'm just gonna tell it to you. Uh, I'm looking at the data on my screen so the last 20 years, we're gonna look at gold, silver, platinum, palladium, and the stock market, okay? Gold up 389% in the last 20 years. 20 years ago, you could have bought gold at $400 an ounce today, trading above 2,000. And, and the, the thing I like about gold is that it's very slow and steady. It's just kind of continuously goes up and to the right, just like the stock market. Unlike silver, silver is up 282% from $6.50 20 years ago to about $24 today. But silver trades very flat for long periods of time. Then it spikes up, then it crashes down, then it recovers, then it goes sideways. Then it spikes up, it crashes down, and I don't, I don't like that. I like slow and steady up and to the right. So I don't like silver. I don't like silver as an investment. Uh, let's look at platinum. Platinum has done nothing in the last 20 years. Platinum over the past 20 years is up 18%. 20 years ago, you could have bought it for $868. This year, about $1,000. So platinum, I actually own some platinum. I'm thinking of selling it because I just don't see this as a good... Uh, a good hedge. It doesn't keep up with inflation. It doesn't keep up with anything. So I, I'm not liking platinum right now. Palladium uh, has done the best, but it's also the, the, the most volatile. Um, up 461% last 20 years. Uh, started at 200 today at $958. But it has been as high as over $3,000 um, but just very, very volatile, spikes up, crashes down, goes sideways. I don't like that. Stock market up 366%, uh, which as I said, we started with gold 389%, stock market 366%. So gold has absolutely kept up with the stock market. In fact, it's beaten the stock market. Over the past 20 years, gold has beaten the stock market. So I absolutely see gold as a great, um, uh, not an alternative, what's the word I'm looking for? Not, not a substitute, but um, in addition to. There's a word for it, I, I'm sorry guys, I, I, I lose my words sometimes, but gold is a great addition to your stock portfolio. So that's pretty much what I invest in, guys. Uh, this is not financial advice, of course. I'm just telling you what I do, okay? I like the stock market, and I'll talk more about the stock market later on, not this video but I'm liking gold. And this year I'm getting into gold. This, this past year, 2023, I bought about five ounces of gold, I believe, which um, 
is a lot for me for for where I'm at in life. That's that's a lot of gold for me. I brought up some coins. Uh, these are these are little twentieth ounce coins that I kind of got started with. I don't recommend these. The premiums are high. Um, I've actually had these for quite a while. I just bought them because they looked cool. Perf uh, lunar coins. Um, but I would not buy something like that today. I would not even buy a tenth ounce. I would only buy quarter ounce and above. Buying a full ounce of gold in one you know, and one coin is a lot for me. So I'd like to buy an ounce of gold just to save on the premium. But for me, it's pretty much quarter ounce or half ounce is pretty much what I can afford these days. So uh, recapping here, looking at these gold, um, great investment. It's slow and steady, goes up and to the right, just like the stock market. Uh, silver, I don't like it. It's too, it's too flat. It's too volatile. Um, the premiums are outrageous. We all know that. Uh, I do own quite a bit of silver. Um, I've got some coins here. You know, I've got some coins. I've got some silver coins. They're fun to look at. They're fun to hold in my hand. I keep some. I just keep these on my desk. I like to just look at them, hold in my hand. I have probably about a hundred ounces of silver. And to me, these are just collectibles. I don't even see this as an investment. I just like looking at these coins. They're cool, but not something I'm expecting to appreciate in value at all. Uh, I've, got, I've got coins like these. It's like a five ounce coin. These are just cool to look at. These are just fun to collect and look at, but not an investment to me. Uh, platinum, I did buy some platinum, but like I said, I'm thinking about selling it. It just doesn't perform. And plat palladium is just impossible to find. I, you can't even find palladium these days. Um, back a long time ago, I did own one ounce of palladium. I think I bought it for like $300. I sold it at $600, doubled my money. I thought I was a, a kingpin, and then it proceeded to go up to $3,000. So, you know, who knows? But I don't, I don't like any of these metals silvery looking metals as investments i like gold and i like the stock market okay now what's my time frame um when i'm buying gold and i don't mean these little coins but what i mean when i'm buying like you know gold eagles um, britannia's philharmonics stuff like that uh i'm not holding this for one year five year 10 years 15 20 years i'm holding this for like 30 years this to me is i'm thinking about this kind of like my 401k you know, we've all heard about what happens when you get to retirement and the stock market crashes right on the year you retire and you have to start withdrawing from your 401k um, when the market's down. I mean, that's the worst possible scenario, guys. So in order to avoid that, I'm stacking gold starting now. Uh, I want enough gold to last me probably about two or three years because that's about how long it takes the market to recover from a recession, for instance. And I, it could take longer than that, absolutely. But I mean, there, there's a limit to how much gold I can afford. But I, I think if I had, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna say about 20 ounces. If I had about 20 ounces of gold, which is a full tube of um, gold eagles, I think that would be enough to feel safe. Now, that's just how I feel today. Maybe in the future, I feel differently. I don't know. I've heard, People like two is one say he wants 200 ounces, you know, good for him. I like, I like two is one, but I think he's in a different financial league than, uh, than, than I'm in. I'm, I'm, I'm more like you're just regular Joe kind of guy. I'm not, I'm nothing, uh, I'm not a, any kind of millionaire or anything like that. I'm just a regular guy. Um, so without this video getting too long, I like to keep them around 10 minutes, guys. Um, that's why gold, the original question, why gold? Uh, for me, it's a safety net. It's so that it's 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 like a, in addition to my 401k. It's not a short-term trade. It's a long-term hold. It's something that performs. It's performed well over the last 20 years. It's going to perform well over the next 20, 30 years, I believe. And it's so that when I get to retirement and if there's a recession, and I don't want to pull from my 401k in the middle of a recession. So that is what it is for me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off there, guys. If, if you tuned into this video, I'm a brand new channel. I'm just starting out. This is my second run at YouTube. So um, I'm kind of new, kind of old at the same time. 
But please, please, please um, subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like. I, I really, um, really appreciate it. I, I like the engagement. I want to get to know you guys. I want to know what you're doing, why you're investing in gold. And um, there you go, guys. Stick with me. The videos are going to get better. Uh, I'm going to have charts. I'm going to have better cameras, better microphone. I'm going to have better videos. But just want to get some stuff out to get started. So that's where we're at today, guys. By the way, this knife is a is a Benchmade Bug Out Mini. This is a great knife. I got other cool things I'm gonna show you guys too, by the way. I'm gonna show you knives, I'm gonna show you uh, coins, I'm gonna show you uh, different cool things, maybe some watches, I'm into watches, stuff like that. But that's it, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. Um, let me know if you watched, uh, let me know if you liked the video, let me know if you have a cool name for me. Um, just throw something at me, we'll see what sticks. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you off there. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.